Good morning, guys. Just today, we're gonna have a quick discussion, very important discussion. Um, because there's a reason yesterday I met one of uh, my friends and he's a parent of one kid and he told me that uh, oh, we shouldn't let kids uh, bring their bags to the school because it's gonna stop their growth uh, yeah then uh, it was I, I was like oh, okay that's fine but um, do we have any any like proofs uh, done or researches or anything like that he said no it's, uh, it's what I heard from my parents like like 30 40 years back yeah then uh, I realized there's a it's most of the uh, parents especially from our countries like India Sri Lanka we got that um, uh, in my our mind if you live to wait especially if you do like a scores and all you're gonna uh, stuck your growth you know it's, uh, it's not gonna grow anymore if you start the, the lifting at age seven uh, if you're like this uh, this tall you're done yeah you're, you're not gonna grow at all that's your height you're defined uh, because weight lifting doesn't make you grow the bones that's uh, that's what the meat looks like that's what they say absolutely not the truth sometimes people say uh, okay there's a joint uh, epiphyseal uh, joint uh, plate fractures is happening and also back uh, injuries happening when kids do wait absolutely but there are few conditions if you have a proper technique and if you know what's your adequate weight and if you have a supervision that word is very important if you have a supervision you can do whatever the training you do with your parents in the gym but your parents should know how to do how to perform workout what's your adequate amount of weight and definitely we should be going for a one rep max etc but you can go for like many reps and also you can go and see in the research papers and you can see some meta-analysis where i proven there is no way that kids gonna like stay short when they start their weight or it's, it's gonna be like less uh, he, he could have gone for six feet because of he started weightlifting at age 13 he was like well, five feet eight yeah my god that is uh, one thing that is not gonna happen because uh, two things one is like if you think about the spiritual world it is your karmic account yeah how tall you are how good looking you are and um, if you think about the, the physical world it is your the structure this is your uh, the dna the, the numbers and the data you have already defined it's from genes yeah uh, yeah i have no clue where this is coming from and if you start weightlifting and how it's gonna stop your growth uh, yeah that's uh, that's again my personal opinion if you know something better than me absolutely would like to see uh, what's your thought and if there's any research papers done okay this is uh, definitely please share this under this video for me personally uh, for my if I uh, if I want to train Ruin definitely I train him doesn't matter even my kid or someone else's kid uh, I'll train them uh, I know that gives you def thousand times benefit than staying in front of the TV and uh, having some a lot of sugar yeah uh, that is for sure even your life is gonna longer if you live to wait yeah if your kids live to wait or even uh, let them bring their bags to the school and let them bring the like you know the food uh, from Woolworths or something like that let them lift because at that time that is the only way of communicating your uh, with your body you know even if you say hey I want to build bigger bicep it doesn't work like that you need to 
show them, okay, I'm gonna do this and it's gonna work like that. That is the only way you are gonna communicate with it. Let them communicate with their body. Don't interrupt, yeah? Don't interrupt, please. And also, if you stay like, this is the biggest disease in the world, heart disease, yeah, like, uh, if you stay in the TV and watching all day and it's, it's in front of the iPad, and if your kids, yeah, and they're gonna lose a lot of life. Like, they might be like, uh, not having even 50 years of, or, um, 50 years of age, yeah. Because if that they continue that lifestyle for 20 years, zero to 20, then that subconscious mind doesn't let them go away from that lifestyle forever. That is the, the worst thing we can do for kids. Please bring them to the parks, bring them to lift weights. I mean like not gym weights, but at least lift weights, some weights and some resistance. Let them do monkey bars. Let them do. If you a boy or girl is too heavy to do monkey bars, definitely let them eat healthier food. Yeah. If, if they can do it means if they are more weight, but still they can do it, they are stronger. That's good. That's fine. But if they can't go for at least six bars, uh, we really need to change something because you feel like, okay, their kids, they can tolerate. Absolutely. They got the magical hormones. They got the magical hormones they can tolerate because they, are, they got like superstars in their body. Even if you feed them very bad food like sugary and all this everything doesn't matter they will they will they at least for a certain age they will survive certain limit they will survive without having any issues but the subconscious conditioning what you do is the the worst thing because after even 20 years you won't be able to escape from that lifestyle after 25 you won't be having any magical hormones then you are suffering uh, with the body because that is how it is that is the nature yeah i hope this helps um, yeah kids even if you if kids live to wait in the gym or any sort of environment with number one supervision with their adequate weight and proper technique definitely it's not a big deal it's it's not going to stop their growth their bone density is going to be uh, stronger, the bones going to be longer and they'll be like, a, you know, in a separate level there if you compare it. That's why all this uh, curriculum is coming with PTs uh, in uh, the schools. They do a lot of workout, they will do gymnastics. There is also resistance training and yeah, that's it guys. Let's do this.